Hello everyone, this is Coffee with Bill, and I'm Bill. I want to thank you for viewing this video and coming to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications whenever I post new videos, and also leave a, a comment. I would love to hear your feedback of what you think about this video um, down below and any other future ideas you may have for what you want to see. Today we're going to be talking about being an effective leader. Retiring from the Navy with over 20 years of active duty service, a little over seven of those being a Navy chief, I've been exposed to some really great leadership and I've also been exposed to some really bad leadership. To be an effective leader, a good leader, there are five traits that I believe every one of those leaders have got to have. To be an effective leader, the first trait that every effective leader must have is you got to have effective communication. To have effective communication, you have got to be clear in what you're saying and you got to be concise to the point. Now that can be verbal, that can be via written communication, it can even be visual where you're showing your workforce or, or the people under you what needs to be done. But at the end of the day, to have effective communication, it's got to be clear and it's got to be concise. The second trait that I believe every effective leader has to have is you got to be able to own your decisions. When an action has to be taken and it comes from higher up, an effective leader does not pass the buck and say, oh shucks, the boss man or boss woman says, we have to do this, so let's get it done. When you do that, you have effectively taken the legs out from underneath your leadership. You have made yourself neutral and you are no longer a leader. You are no longer being an efficient leader. Own decisions. Whatever the actions are that have to be completed, own them as they're yours. By doing that, you are going to become more efficient and more effective as a leader. The third trait that I believe every effective leader must have is you got to have the ability to listen to your people. Every one of those people that you work with underneath you and above you were brought on board because they bring value to the team. They have a unique perspective. They have a unique lifestyle that they come from. They, they have, there's, there's a, a whole gamut of features and qualities that these people bring to your team. Listen to them. By listening to them, it's going to open up the, the door as a leader to some options that you're going to have available. And it kind of leads into our fourth leadership trait that every effective leader must have is you've got to be able to learn from your people. So listening to your people is going to lead into you being able to learn from your people. There's a quote out there that says lifelong leaders are lifelong learners. The day that you stop learning as a leader is the day you become ineffective and the day that you wither on the vine. As a leader, you do not want to wither on the vine. Constantly be learning. Learn from your people. They're younger, they're older, they have different life experiences, they have different perspectives. Use that to your advantage to make you a better leader and to make the team a better team. Teamwork. It, it, it improves everybody around. The fifth trait that I believe every effective leader must have, and this one is really important, is as a leader, when you get accolades, when you get those congratulations, those attaboys, those attagirls, pass those immediately down to your people, to the workforce. As a leader, you are out front, or you should be out front, and you are going to get 80, 90% of the accolades that come to, to you and your team. You didn't do this by yourself. You might have been able to herd cats and get them to go in the right direction, but at the end of the day, it was all those cats working that created the end product. 
pass those accolades down. Let them know that the work, the contribution that they contributed to the team, to the whole, was appreciated. Whatever the accolades were, as an effective leader, that is going to create value. It's going to create value in your team and it's going to create value in you as a leader. Now, I have a bonus tidbit. Um, it's not really a trait, but it's something that I believe every leader should do. Sometimes when we get into a leadership position, we forget a little bit of where we come from. We should all strive to live by the golden rule. Treat others how I want to be treated. And to go along with that, there are common courtesies. Never, ever, ever as a leader forget common courtesies. Say thank you, say please, say you're welcome. All of those common courtesies that you would normally pay to your friends or your families or just people in society, do those same common courtesies to your workforce. They deserve it. And as a leader, you should expect yourself to return those common courtesies, whether you get them or not. So these are the five traits that I believe every effective leader must have. I would love to hear your feedback on this, whether you think there are other top five qualities somebody must have. There, there's a lot of qualities that great leaders have, but these are the five that I believe every great leader must have. So um, subscribe, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, enjoy a great cup of coffee.